Today we want to finish up our collages that were inspired by the collages of Romare Bearden. And remember, you need to start with your background first. So make sure that your ground, if you're going to have a road, your road, your sky, all of those things are glued down first. And then you should have already started gluing some of your people and some of your buildings or bushes or whatever you're making. But if you're cutting anything out today, you need to do that quickly right away. And when you're cutting, remember to cut right on the edge of those shapes and that way it will look good when you put it onto your background paper. So I've got this little dog. I'm going to have my man walking a dog. We're going to also have a chance to use some crayons and markers and things, but anything that you're going to glue needs to happen probably in the first five minutes. That's going to move pretty quickly. So you need to make all those decisions and get gluing quickly. Now, if you use glue today, you may not use my markers. You may use your own markers, uh, but my markers, I don't want them to get ruined by having wet glue get on the markers. So, so here's my little dog, and I think the man can hold the little dog. Oh, that looks great. Remember when we glue things down? that we put glue on the edges and we don't need to put a ton of glue, just pinky dots. And another little tip is once we place that down, then let's see, let's get that dog. In. Then you can take another paper or a scrap of some sort and put over the top so that you can rub it and the glue gets all the way to the edges, but it doesn't get all over your fingers that way. So now that I have that, maybe it's time Oh, I had one more little person I was going to put up here in an apartment. Now it's time to maybe add some details with marker or crayon. Today I will let you borrow from me the construction paper crayons. So let's say I wanted to add the yellow line that goes down a road. So I'm going to put the um, little dotted yellow lines so that people know that this is a roadway. I can put another car if I want to. I can draw that in. I would always draw it with pencil first. And that way um, we know whether we like the way it looks. And then we can change it if we need to. Also, these are great crayons because you can add textures. Like maybe you want to make this grass look a little bit more grassy or maybe you want to add some flowers, or maybe you even want to add another animal or something in the background. So all of these details that you're gonna to do today, make sure that you are working quickly. Don't talk too much, or you're not gonna have enough time to get everything done. So have fun, finish up your details, and voila, create your vision of a collage telling a story.